So today I'm gonna do a little coon control around our deer feeder, trapping season's in. This is a premium brand FB1 dog proof, easy set. I've got on 10 foot of chain, that just went off on me, and a drag, homemade drag. Okay, so I'm gonna set it right over here at the buffet. I'm gonna take this is uh, golden nuggets. I like using fish food as well, but this is golden nuggets and corn. Um, golden nuggets is just a deer attractant. I, I put it in my deer feeders as well, and then I spray Clint Locklear's coon uh, collector on it, and uh, it gives off a really, really strong flavor of uh, anise and other stuff. Um, and I usually like his other product, but it's not in the range. I'll have to show you that in a minute. So I'm just gonna take this. I'm not gonna feed them. I'm just gonna drib dribble a little bit in there. Just to cover the trigger. I'm gonna get a few more and set them around. Here's that bottle of lure. Coon track. Works really good. It almost is like um, catnip for coons. I need to grab some more traps anyway. not worth a whole lot right now um, but I am going to skin him out roll him up and freeze him but this is the size I like to catch and to eat and he was actually asleep uh, when I just pulled up so see pretty low stress he's just got his paw cut there he just got his paw caught right there I'm just gonna set you up on a time lapse that way we get all this in together so i'm gonna make a cut around his legs his back legs i'm gonna go straight across across his vent to his back, other back leg and cut his front paws off and then i'm just going to tube skin him or case skin him then i'm gonna gut him and save the meat uh, we'll have to ring around the tail and we'll use a tail stripper to pull that bone out of the tail in that bucket spray it really good and rinse out all that blood and pee and leaves and stuff and i'll brush out the fire pop it and hang it up to dry overnight uh, one other thing i wanted to mention on cleaning that coon the one i cleaned to eat it's pretty much ready to go other than i'm going to trim the fat off right now because it'll be really greasy if you don't and coon fat is not desirable um, and i'm also going to remove the kernels Okay, on coons, it's referred to kernels. What it is, it's the lymph nodes. Um, and it's right up inside the armpit on the front legs and rear legs. Um, I already moved it on the front legs, as I did on camera. Um, but the back legs, you gotta cut in there, dig around until you find this little greenish white mass, and it'll be about yay big, okay, about the size of your fingernail. And you just pull that out, and then your 
good. There's also some internal fat between the muscle fiber or the muscle groups in the back legs that I like to pull out as well. So there's your tips. So the plan with the coon is I'm going to soak it in my favorite barbecue sauce, which is Wickers. I'm going to soak it in Wickers for several days, at least 48 hours. So I guess I need to give you an update on the coon that I barbecue. And I was going to show you the end result, but I need to show you a in between. So we're set on 225 degrees. We're going to try it for about four hours. Okay. So, actually, let me bump it down. It's already been an hour. I'm using Applewood chips. This is a Masterville electric smoker. Let's take a gander at our, at our coon. I'm gonna clean you off here. So I've got some pork chops and that pork fat's dripping down on the coon. You can see my coon, pork chops, coon. I'm just gonna let that smoke and, and um, let that grease drip off that coon. That grease is not desirable. That fat on that pork is though. I'm just gonna let that smoke and we're gonna see how it goes here. Barbecue coon is really good. If you cook it slow enough. All right. So it's going there. All right, let me check my temp here. The last hour I bumped it to 275. I probably could have backed off a little bit. On that, I've got my internal temp up to 173. I was looking for 165, but I had to give Cora a bottle, so I kind of got above that real quick. Um, so it's almost been four hours. I would like to have cooked the coon all day, but let's see what we've going here. I'm just going to turn that off. I know I'm done. Oh, smoke. Looks pretty delicious. We got a little bit of char on the coon. 
This is what I wanted. I've got a platter here. Oh yeah, that looks tender. Nice and tender. Now is I'm gonna take my pork chops. We'll do the same thing to coon. I'm gonna take my pork chops that are hot. They could have. I could have pulled them off quicker. I should have. I just didn't. Now I'm gonna take. I need my tripod. There's my baby. My baby, she's going to sleep. Maybe. All right, sweet baby rays. Paige and I both like this. So I'm just gonna put some sweet baby rays on there. Smear it around. Okay. Now I'm gonna wrap these up. And that wrapping it up will um just put it with the other barbecue sauce. See so right there's a piece of coon. You ever seen coon meat before? That's what it looks like. Really good. Really good, good. So I was marinated for over a week. And Wicker's barbecue sauce, that was the back leg too, by the way. Um, marinated for over a week in Wicker's barbecue sauce in the fridge. Uh, just a pan, a Tupperware bowl with a lid to stop any oxygen from coming in. Um, and then I smoked it for three hours um, at predominantly 225, the last hour, no, Smoked for three hours at 225, and then the last hour I bumped up 275 to put the crisp on it and to get up to that 165. I actually got to 175 mark. I'm on the inside of this one thigh. It's delicious. Tastes just, I can't say it tastes just like pork, but it's very similar to pulled pork. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this up in, in barbecue sauce. I'm going to let that cool down, and that'll break down that meat, and then I will shred it off the bone, chop it, and we'll mix in one... I don't even know if I'm gonna mix in a pork chop because this is so good. I might mix in a pork chop, might go a little farther. Then I'm wanting to serve it on buns, like barbecue meat. So let's do that. I think with these, I just don't want to use all my aluminum foil. I'm gonna put another leg. Look at that hunk of awesome. Yeah, that's some caveman stuff right there. I'm gonna smear that. Pork chop, coon, coon front quarters, coon back quarters. Now let's put those in the cooler. So the meat has now been shredded, the pork, off the bone, and now I'm going to chop it. And there it goes, there she is. That much is left over, I'm gonna save it for my friend. And for Paige whenever she gets home. I've also got pork chops for her whenever she gets home, but she may wanna try the coon. So, serve with a bag of Lay's potato chips, a little baked beans if you like. So that's that. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I bet there'll be more to come. So please like, subscribe, and share to your friends. Keep making every toe push.